Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're asking the question, should K-3 visas just fully be adjudicated in an embassy? I made a similar video contemporaneously with this one discussing this in the context of the K-1 visa. And the my belief on this is the K categories do not confer, the K-1 and the K-3 do not confirm confer, let me be clear, confer immigrant status upon entry into the United States, as opposed to the CR1 and IR1 visas, which do. If you enter the United States with a CR1 visa, that, and you're the spouse of an American citizen, you enter with what's called, in CR1, conditional lawful permanent residence. But the operative word there is lawful permanent residence. With the, and we've done other videos on conditionality of residence, I urge those who are interested in that topic, check the search function on our channel for more information there. But the, the purpose of this video is, yeah, a CR1 or an IR1 visa, you get your green card essentially at entry. On a K1 or a K3 visa, you do not get your green card until you have, you've gone through the adjustment of status process, even if you're married. The K3 uh, generally confers a longer visa. You can stay over there and kind of, it's multi-entry in some cases. You can come and go, but at the end of the day, you're still going to have to adjust status to a green card. And it kind of begs the question, what's really the point of the front-end Department of Homeland Security adjudication associated with fiancé and marriage visas in the K category? Should we still be doing this? And I think there's a lot of good arguments from an efficiency standpoint, from a cost-benefit standpoint, that just doing all the K adjudication at embassies abroad would be much more cost-effective. And it, it really, already, a lot of the embassy functions are heavily you know, redundant. Because, yeah, you've gone through this adjudication at Department of Homeland Security, but you know, you're still getting scrutinized again. And frankly, the applicant's adjudication happens abroad anyway. So I guess my point is, I think there's a strong argument to be made that made for the, the idea that K3 visas and K1 visas should have the entire visa process just occurring at an embassy abroad.